options uh, today. It's a haddock at the minute. Uh, this may or may not have been a Ford at some point. Uh, hit this one before and found a silver sixpence. Uh, uh, have a go again this morning. A bit more of the paddock area itself uh, with the Equinox 600 uh, with the uh, upgraded settings. Second one out with the upgraded settings. So we'll see how we get on today. <coughs> so got a strong signal here. 1819. See what we get. And out the hole is this thing. Quite difficult to find actually. Pinpointing it like it. I think it might not all be metal. A little bit maybe. Uh, no idea. There you go. First thing out of the field. And first thing recognisable thing up this morning. Small button. Not part of anything that I can see, but there you go, a small button. One of the uh, say problems, well, I guess it's advantage really, with an Equinox being quite so uh, sensitive, is you can find very small slithers. I don't think this is a. I just thought it might be a cut quarter or something, I don't think it is. Uh, clean it all there and find out. But it's about six inches down. Took the pinpoint of that, found it harder to find than the Equinox. Uh, it shows how sensitive the Equinox is. It's a kite, I'm not sure if you can see. Too far away now. That silhouette's a kite. I love the Yorkshire countryside. Let's dig this hole a little bit deeper. See where I pull that extra bit of earth there. Uh, and I notice a round shaped thing. So I assume it's a button or coin on this corner here. And indeed it is. Uh, Is that, is that more silver? I believe that's a silver sixpence. That's the second silver sixpence from this field. First one being, what, 20 feet away? How weird. Quite a field for coins, except for silver sixpences. I'll clean that up at home, but I'm um, well cheap for that. Another more silver. Really nice. What's the age on that? 1940. 1940 is part of it. Excellent. There we go. Another silver sixpence. It's also worth pointing out at the hole there, where I just got the silver sixpence from, uh, the target ID was coming in at about 1718, which is that five feet six feet away from where I just dug up that piece of lead with almost exactly the same target ID sound etc I almost didn't dig that because it was so close to where all the lead, lead's been because to show that notching out or ignoring signals just because you think uh, you're in a place where there's lots of lead or whatever the material might be that you're digging up um, it appears to uh, err on the side of caution and, and dig it just to double check if I'd have ignored that, I'd have missed out on that sixpence. And just to further emphasise the point about signals, next up is a Moo tube. A Moo tube came in at very similar to the sixpence in the lead. So uh, I know the Equinox has got less target ID um, segments than a lot of detectors. I don't know if that's part of it or influences it, but Moo tube, lead, and sixpence all within. Well, 16 to 18, um, moving a little bit, obviously, different shapes and sizes and depths, but all within 16 and 18. Me and the Equinox are now hiding under a tree, or sort of in a tree bush thing situation, uh, by the back, waiting for the rain to stop, which hopefully it will do shortly. Still raining. Right, rain has stopped, come to a completely different field that I've never been on. Uh, let's see if we can do a little bit more with the Equinox before the rain inevitably stops play again. The rest of the 
uh, afternoon to walk, it's a bit crap. So, I'm going to get a go, and you can see the uh, grass has been cut on here as well. So, uh, should be able to get on and swing my little easily. Let's come uh, down into what an old beck. Uh, I think it's still suffering from the drought, there's no water in it. Uh, let's have a look around here. Uh, first thing I found, it looks like a, an old comb. Finding these intriguing little bits and think, oh, got quarter. And clean a little bit and it appears not to be. I can actually still find them very small and like shape size things, but uh, nothing else really of interest in, since they're sixpence. So this has come out in the clods, it was a sort of high 19. Um, this field so far has had lots of sort of little like bits of. Uh, smelted metal, like little tiny pieces they can also be finding but even the pinpoint of struggle so I'm going to just see what this one is from the uh well oh, it's a a globule of something you know, bigger than the other ones um maybe they've been smelting or something some sort of manufacture uh, back in medieval history around here so maybe medieval times Probably the detect on this field, there's all these in it.